Happy birthday to Scoot. Happy birthday to Scoot. Happy birthday to Scoot. But I'm not streaming your game. All right, let's get this ga uh, game started. Octoling expansion. It's for Splatoon 2. Um, still no way to skip this. Can never skip this. Never. You will never be able to skip, you will never be able to choose. Here are the levels, and you will like them. And then you will... You will play them in the way we wish for you to play them! Anyway, uh, welcome to the stream. <laughs> this is the Splatoon Octoling DLC. It's an expansion, uh, actually. And, uh, I'm a little tired today, which is why I'm not sure I'm gonna stream Metroid. But, I'm gonna stream this for a little while, and I wanna see what's going on. I heard good things, and I'm also very interested in more single-player stuff for Splatoon. I feel like this game has a lot of potential as a single-player experience that it's kind of almost tapped into. Um, man, the Leather Club is how many blocks down? Forgot my guy looked like this. But yeah, we're gonna get- we're gonna get in there. Um, also, I played this game the other day, for the first time in a while, and this whole area was just straight up like... I wanted- I wanted to- I wanted to die. It was like, fetishized octopus. It was, um... Arguments. Politics in the lobby. Oh boy. Boy, was it fun. Squid politics, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Octo layered LS. You can use it in multiplayer battles. Um, studio Octophones. <laughs> I guess that's cool. Is that new? Serial advertisements? Or is that always there? Oh, okay then. Um, what are Inklings? In well, I have an inclination, but I don't know for sure. <sighs> there it is. There it is. So again, if you're just joining, I would like to wish our animal friend, Scoot, duck friend, happy birthday. One more time. I will not be streaming Scoot's birthday. I did last year. Hail Summer Moonlight Shimmers in the seafloor is an octopus. Unaware that dawn will bring capture, rests within a trap. Dreaming. Fleeting dreams. Ahoy, Octoling. Up and at him, you lazy whiffle waffle. Face. This fight ain't over. Prepare for a royal whooping. Hang on a minute. Let me, let me make this even louder. I feel like the game is kind of low overall. But there's no honor in defeating an unarmed opponent. You seem to have lost your weapon somewhere around here. Just where is here anyway? Last thing I remember, you were battling my protege, Agent 3, in Octo Valley when both you... Both of you suddenly were attacked by someone. And somehow we got marooned here. So, how's about we call a temporary truce while we find a way to escape? But where are my manners? I haven't even told you my name. Doc! Look! I am Captain Cuttlefish, leader of the legendary new Squid Beaks Platoon! And you are? My name is Sleven. S-L-E-V-E-N. 
it's, this is the part where you tell me your name. By Kraken, you lost your memory when you hit the ground. You can't remember anything about yourself. Anything at all? I don't think I like this very much. Are you... Most interesting. I noticed you were humming the calamari incantation right before you came too. Could it be? Has this heavenly melody been etched into your very soul? I'll take your stunned silence as a yes. I've heard tell of Octarians whose souls were etched by those squid-tastic grooves. That's... that was a couple years back during Agent 3's battle with DG Octavio. Man, even Splatoon has 80s nostalgia with the, um, aesthetic and stuff. Still, I can't shake the feeling that this is related somehow. In any case, sorry for sicking Agent 3 on you back there. Any fan of the Squid Sisters is a friend of mine, and I mean that with all my hearts. Now dust yourself off and find your land legs. We need to get moving. Let's find a way out of here. Man, it wouldn't be summer without Splatoon. Okay, so it's been a year, really, almost a year since Splatoon came out, Splatoon 2. And wow. The Leather Club is here. Trinity from the fucking Matrix. As a squa-octoling. Okay, so now... I'm very at home here. This is, uh, the met this is where you put your Metro card. Right, and I have David Bowie Metro cards because they they did a limited time thing and they sold them. I ex fully expect piss and vomit on this train. Let's see how clean it is. Um, no, none of that stuff. No, this is definitely not New York. No, this is... <laughs> Not New York 25 years ago. Let me say it like that. Thick octopus... ...leg. I'm just looking at the difference between... The octolings and the squids, that's all. I was just, like, verbally pointing out the differences. What oh, in the devilfish is this place? Proceed with caution. It's an octarian vault. You need a key to open it. Being oct an octarian and all, you sure this place doesn't look familiar? I want to unlock the secrets. Of octopus kind. Actually, I don't really care very much. <laughs> what I want to do is shoot. Okay. Gotta remember how to play the game. And I am remembering. Bye. Man, this year we're gonna be playing a lot of games from last year. Between this and Mario and Rabbids DLC. But they're more like, you know, they're expansions more than they are just DLC packs. And that is something I've missed. I miss a good expansion pack. Okay, 
That was a Finna Boing device. Oh, there it is. What the fuck is this? Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. So, if I can shoot it, I can grapple to it. Okay. That's not, like... ...something... ...obtuse and weird that I can't do yet. That's just a grapple point. But my weapons... watched a uh, documentary. There's a documentary going around about uh, Fallout 76 that I would recommend. I don't know the name of the channel that it was on. But it was like a 40 minute documentary. No clip. It was on No Clip. Yeah, I watched that. And then I watched the the documentary about um, Bethesda in general. Which the same people did. They did like a kind of hour and a half documentary about like the history of their games and and um how broken they are. I recommend it. I fell asleep during the Fallout 4 part and I'm not making that up, but I recommend it. It's it's really interesting. Searching for user ID user 10008 confirmed. What? These damn phones and their auto-tune today. Greetings, 100... 10,008. Your current location is Deep Sea Metro sta uh, Central Station. My primary function is to facilitate your journey to the Promised Land. Pleased to make your acquaintance. 12.42% efficiency. Enabling contemporary speech mode. What is crack-a-lacking, home skillet, my fellow fam? Let us bounce to the promised land, faux show. I am about it, about it. So listen while I, slang not found, you the facts. You have spent your entire life in the dark, your eyes closed to the new hotness that awaits. The promised land, a utopia of light beyond your wildest dreams. It is all that and a bag of cool beans. I, I want to die. I will take you to the promised land now. Not... Oh my god, it really is New York 25 years ago. Ha ha ha, psych out. Only cats who have proven themselves can... Ah! The promised land. Do you dig, dog? Whomst let the doggos out. Am I right? There have been 10,007 applicants so far, which makes you applicant 10,008. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yo. Good luck and slang not found. This is Deep Sea Metro Station, uh, Central Station, the Relio Delio Central Hub of the facility. Here is your CQ80 and CQ card. They are so bad. What do you mean? Oh, that's like bad, like Michael Jackson bad. You know I'm bad. But that. Guard them with you, cause I mean. 80s. Guard them with your Lizife, because if you lose them, you will- Arr! Now come on, ride the train, Audi 5000. Oh my god. Applicant 10,008, eh? That's a beakful. I think I'll just call you Agent 8. Sorry, um, uh, this promised land must, must be the surface. I wonder how deep underground we are. There's no time to waste. Come on, Agent 8, grab those new dilly-doos and, uh, get moving. My dearest fellow fam. You think there's gonna be a Woomy versus Booyah Splatfest? If there hasn't been already? 25 years ago was the 90s though. Oh shit. You're right. Oh. 
Booyah versus... What, it's like Laurel and Yoni. I'm pooped, Agent 8. Gonna rest my cuddle bones here for a bit. Okay, well... Sea Cucumber. <laughs> Thank you for using Deep Sea Metro today. I am your humble conductor, Sea Cucumber. I'm gonna do it like the conductors do it on the train in New York. You gotta be squitting me, a talking sea slug. Pardon me. I take it this is your first time riding with us? Wet noise. Oh, it leaves like a trail of scum. <clears throat> Here's the deal. We're in a vast underground facility operated by Camabo Corporation. It is a series of test chambers connected by Deep Sea Metro subway system. Test chambers? Uh, I mean, um... I see that you're in possession of a CQ-80 device. I take it your aim is to reach the promised land. That's right, we want out of here. Understood. The Promised Land is a paradise to which we denizens of the depths are a forbidden entry. To reach it, you must pass a test at the each deep sea metro station. You must also find a. <laughs> ah, excuse me. I mean, uh, up next is uh, Lexington. Ah. You must also find and collect the four things. I'm just being accurate. I'm being accurate to New York subway announcers. When all four things have been gathered, the door to the promised land shall open. So all we gotta do is pass some tests and find some things and we can go home. I believe so. Let me show you your first test. Press X to activate CQ80. Oh, what in the blazes? Technology these days. This is the deep sea metro map. Go ahead and select a destination. Fake plastic station. I wonder if there are fake plastic trees. Very good. Now the party for the first test. So it's like a little series of uh, interconnected. Um, little test chambers kind of set up in the same way um, Splatoon 2 single player set up, but much more linear, I guess. Or let's just call it Portal. Let's call it what it is. At each station, the available weapons will be displayed atop the equipper. CQ points are required to start each test. It will grant you 10,000, 1,000 <laughs> to start with. I can, I can read. The test fee indicates the number of CQ points needed to take the test. The reward is how many CQ points you'll earn for passing the test. Now go ahead and press A to select the weapon. This area we're in now is called Station Platform. You can find me here at each stop. If you'd like more info about a certain test, come talk to me. I'm always happy to help. He just, like, accepts his fate. Upon inking. This is a turnstile. Press A to pay the test fee and begin the test, you know. Hang on a minute. I need to uh, change something here because I, I have, like I said, my monitor has been turning off after, like, um, let's see, let's do two hours. That should be good. It's been 50, it was 15 minutes. Press A to pay the test fee and begin the test. Uh, if you don't have enough CQ points to take a test, you'll have to come back to it. Also, I have a big reveal. You ready? Here's the big reveal. The big reveal is... The little reveal becomes the big reveal. Now this this is um the stuff I'll be giving away at too many games this year. 
Can you figure out what it is? Yeah. So you see I got a pin in there too. We got some cool pins. And I'll tell you who made them as soon as I remember. But also some some uh eggs. I'm not gonna say that they're Tenga eggs, but they're not Tenga eggs. Sorry to disappoint. Alright, so we got some fake plastic trees. I wonder if there's a green plastic watering can. I'm really uh, enjoying the aesthetic of this. Octolings are your friends, right? Maybe try talking to them? Destroy. EGAN! Are they really going to attack a fellow Octarian? You might want to talk a little louder! Okay, um, it's been a while since I played this, so I'm going to suck. Like, I played it the other day, but only a couple matches. And then I switched over to Doom, and played the online with Doom. Uh, okay, my biggest disappointment with Splatoon... ...is this. That I can't... ...use this thumbstick to look up and down. That's only motion control. That's only gyro. I would at least like the option, Nintendo. No, 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 I don't want to turn it off. I want to turn on. I want both. I want to be able to- okay, so you can use the right thumbstick to move left and right, but not up and down. That's only gyro. I want gyro controls. You can change it? Disabled when motion controls are on. Do you understand now? In Doom, you can, um, gyro in every direction whilst you aim with the thumbstick for big, like, movements. Uh, but you can't do that in Splatoon. I mean, you get used to it after a while. It's not something that's gonna, like, kill the game for me again. But it seems like such a weird thing. I mean, Splatoon is such a great game. But there's some weird limitations, like the map rotation can get really annoying, not being able to skip Squid Sisters. This seems like stuff that, if they're listening to fans, maybe they would have patched, but they haven't, so... Just turn it off? No, 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 I like- what you're missing is... I- as I said momentarily ago, I like the gyro controls. I enjoy the gyro controls, but I also want to look up and down with the stick. Chat yacht. Yeah, like Breath of the Wild or any game that uses gyro controls where you can aim with the stick in any direction. Let's see. But again, I'll get used to it. It's- it's something that I'll think about for a couple minutes. And then I'll just be like, alright, no problem. I got used to it last time, I'll get used to it again. Also, um... Am I just really, really bad? Or is this kind of hard? Yeah, 
It's both. Apparently it's both and it's gonna get harder. No, they're just really good at keeping me away from them, and I have a very short range weapon. That's what's- that's what's happening. Alright, so as I described earlier, if you're just joining, um, I might do Metroid Prime 2 after this. But I'm also feeling like kind of really, um... I had a long ass day, and I'll tell you about some of it, because it's kind of funny. But... I'm also really tired, I had a big dinner, and it just like sapped all the energy out of me. drank half a bottle of water. It was squid noises, guys. <clears throat> I'm just doing sound effects for Splatoon. But, you know, I stay hydrated. You know how I do. <laughs> By the way, you received this memento when you finished. It's called a mem cake. Mem cakes are formed by compressing memories into physical form. They'll be awarded to you by Kamabo Ko to commemorate each test you pass. Use L and R in your CQ80 menu to check out your collection of mem cakes. I think mems are pretty cool. New stations are now available for you to visit and test your skills within. You can move freely to any station marked with. An orange dot. Safe travels. Hi, is this thing working? Oh, I hear something. Come in, Agent 3. Agent 3, do you copy? Mic check. One, two. Who the heck are you? Excuse me? Pearl, didn't anyone teach you to respect your elders? Ah! Who am I speaking to? Where is Agent 3? State your names. Uh, I think you asked first, dude. Anyway, I'm Pearl, and you can call me MC Princess. My deets? Oh, I'm short and sweet. I spit that fire, make posers perspire. Step to my game, I'll bring the pain. I'm never shook. Because... Well, yeah, because I'm, uh... I'm off the hook. Oh, check it, kid. Are you stepping to me with a rap battle? MC Craig in the house. Uh, call me Captain Cuttlefish. It's not because I cuddle fish smooth like butter. You better... It just skipped before I could finish reading it. Okay, you two, that's enough. Mr. Cuttlefish, was it? We found a radio here in your, and heard your transmission. We're currently on Mount Nantai. Where are you calling from? Mount Nantai? Why, that's near Octo Valley. Agent 8 and I were near there, but someone seems to have taken us deep underground. I see, so you and this Agent 8 don't know where you are. Sorry to hear that. But worry not. From now on, you'll have me, Marina, aka DJ Hyperfresh, supporting you. I get to work analyzing your surroundings, and hopefully I'll be of some help to you. I don't really get what's going on, but hang tight, we got you. <laughs> okay, well, anyone who loves rapping is a friend of mine. Thanks for your help. We're off to pass some sort of tests that make our way to the promised land. By we, I mean you, Agent 8. Time to get after it. So, what kind of magazines? These aren't lascivious magazines of ill-reputed nature, are they? Eh. Nah, they're fine. Did you know, sometime in the early 90s, there was, um, a law passed so that there could only be, like, one sex shop within, like, three or four blocks in Manhattan? Because there were some streets that were just, like, sex stores. Entirely. I don't know, I, I think it's, um... It might be three blocks, but yeah, Times Square, in particular, was just, like, sex block. And so, they had to actually pass a law that you couldn't have, like, dildo stores next to each other. These are the aliens from Bloodborne. I fought these, uh, last week, didn't I? Welcome aboard, all passengers with CQ80 device. Okay, got it.
New York City used to be really seedy and like Midgar. <clears throat> I think one of the things that I loved about Midgar when I was growing up was that it was this weird reflection of reality. That's why I can't wait for Cyberpunk. Oh, another thing. Um, if... I don't know, I mean, I was thinking about doing an emote contest. I'm not really happy with any of the emotes that I have available, including the Metroid one. I feel like it's it's gonna be just a, an annoying slot. I'm gonna look at it, and I'll be like, oh, why did I choose that? So, I'm down for um, other emotes. Make the meat official, but then that means free users can't use the meat. And meat will die down eventually. I mean, it'll be re referred to from time to time, but it's not gonna be what it is now. So, I don't know if I wanna do that, but... What I want to do is celebrate Waluigi. If anyone wants to take this face, this beautiful face, and turn it into something usable with utility that will be used from years from now, for years to come, rather, then, um, I'd love that. Because everyone is here except Waluigi. And I figure the least we could do is give him a little bit of love here in the emote sector. But he needs an emotion that isn't met by any of my other emotes. So if you, the perspiring artist, <laughs> have an idea for Waluigi emote, let me know. Just let me know. Yeah, tempura. Or onion ring, whatever you want to call it. Oh, he's still there? Oh, that's fine. Alright, fixed. The music is saying wah. 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 It's like it's a Waluigi put through auto tune. Some interesting mechanics. Already. I can't wait for, like, the single-player Splatoon. That's as deep as anything Nintendo's ever done. Like, I can't wait for, like, the Splatoon game that starts with... Boomy. Boomy never changes. Twenty million squids used to live here. Open world split fest. No, but I'm I'm really happy that they decided to do a single player expansion and not just more multiplayer stuff. As much as I enjoyed the sing the multiplayer of Splatoon 2, and I was addicted for a little while. I had a couple months of Splatoon 2 in my life before I inevitably moved on to other things, as I usually do. Because video games are great, and there's so many of them. And so... I tend to... like to keep up with the newer games. So sadly, Splatoon left my life, but it was loved, and will always be remembered. You know, life is temporary. You know, everything is somewhat temporary, isn't it? Kind of like a secretary.
But I, I really enjoyed um, Splatoon 2, and I thought it was it was a lot of fun. So I'm glad that it's single player we're getting, and not just multiplayer. Because I might have ignored the multiplayer if it was a big multiplayer expansion with more, you know, of all the stuff that we already know about. It would have been cool. But this is this is much more fun for me. And we got some multiplayer stuff anyway. So there is like multiplayer update to this. All the multiplayer shit is free. Except I think when you get this expansion, you get to be an Octoling. I'm not really sure. I didn't really pay full attention to all the details. It's just cosmetic. When you beat it. That's right, Joel. Totally accurate. Battlegrounds is now five bucks, but they're at least putting effort in. Like, they're working on stability. They're increasing player count. They've sorted out squads versus solos. So, I'm hoping that... You know, I'm hoping that they're going to continue developing that. Because it's actually a lot of fun, in a weird way. But it, it could use some tightening up. But, um, yeah, the Splatoon, the Splatoon multiplayer stuff is free. One of the things that gives me hope for the future of Smash Brothers is this game. Because we get patch notes with every update. And it was like pulling teeth to get any kind of patch notes from Nintendo. Oh, goodbye, onion rings. Let's see what's going on here. Whoa, okay. Holy fuck. Bounce! Bounce! I love that you can roll up walls. That's so good. It's so good. Yeah, there's so many weird little unique mechanics in this game. It must have been fun to design these levels. As fun for them to design as it is frustrating for me to play. Fallout. Man, I want to use I I. I I is so much better. Has traction. I just don't understand why my boy Gongon Gon isn't in this particular version of Monkey Ball. Another thing that's not baby games. It's 
It's a little bad, but it's not not baby games in difficulty. Not... Not now, and probably not, like... Three hours of gameplay from now. Okay, uh, we got a square here. Was up, eight ball station. Read mem cakes. All right, what if I do the mems after this? This is, this is gonna be a lot of fun, isn't it? As in... <laughs> oh, okay, I have a bomb strapped to my back for when I lose the 8-ball. That's- that's cool. Fun as in extra special fun. Don't do it. So I had a bump in my tire. And I had to get it fixed. I had to go to the, my place. And you don't want to fuck around with bump and tire. Because that could explode. Like that. I'm gonna piss. Why would they put that there? Why would they do that to me? Um, yeah, like, a bump meaning like an- like a little air pocket, like the interior lining broke or something, I'm not really... I'm not really sure. Or I could have just done this, right? Yeah. So, um, I'm wait- oh boy. I'm waiting in the place, and then they show me my other front tire, which has two micro-bubbles. So, I'd like to thank... The, um... I'd like to thank New York City for taking care of those Staten Island potholes. And when I say that, I mean they don't take care of the Staten Island potholes. Our potholes suck. We have terrible potholes. And, um, yeah, so... I was driving around with potentially explodable tires, but not nothing too bad. Like it, it would have been. There's a chance it would have been shitty, but there's also a chance that it would have just, you know, it would have been okay. Not like good okay, but at least I would have maintained control of the vehicle. The point is, I got it fixed because yeah, you get that shit fixed as soon as possible. And I'm there waiting and um. I guess, uh, there was this mom and her little daughter, who made, might have been four years old, who was screaming, running around, and hitting people. And, um, she said she wanted, quote, I quote now, more coffee. The daughter. The, the four-year-old daughter. Son, why are you feeding your parent? Why are you feeding your child coffee at four? And she bullied me. No, she didn't actually. She really didn't. Um, I ended up sitting far away from that. I watched the madness unfold, and I heard it, of course. But I just want to let you know, a four-year-old on caffeine is a hell of a thing. And not just that, but with a parent that does no discipline whatsoever. There was none. And one of the, um, customers was like, do I get a discount for getting punched by a child? As a joke? So, that was, um... 
that was just a little something that happened I thought you might enjoy. It would have been funny had I not been there. And it was still kind of fun. it was still kind of funny actually, but it was uh, one of those like it's so funny you want to cry. This music is very chill by the way. Turn this up a bit. That is bubble tape, yes. Yes, it is. I used to have that shit. They're throwing the 80s nostalgia at us. For those that have never seen this product, the joke is that it's like, um, you know, tape. Yeah. There, you get it now? See, I had to explain it. Good. You got it. Thanks. But it's bubblegum. I pushed it a little bit, that's why. I thought I actually had to shoot it over here, so I was a little bit, um... Yeah. So I moved it back, and that was bad. It was very bad. Two hundred squid bits have been tossed into the void. You have unlocked two lines. You can view them in the deep sea metro map. Stations marked with a... Uh, contain one of the four things. Seek them out now. I'd like to offer you a reward for finding this new line. Please pay me a visit. Alright, now I can look at Mems. By the way, while you've been out there passing tests, Captain Cuttlefish has had some time on his hands, so we've been chatting with him. We thought you might be interested, so we made a chat log viewable to you. Use LNR to select the chat logs from CQ80. Take a look at it sometime. Nope. Nope, I don't want to have anything to do with that. Beg your pardon, young squire. Might I have a look at those trinkets you've got there? Forgive me if I caught you off guard. Hope I'm not too off-putting for the child. They call me Iso Padre. That's not my name, mind you, but it's the only one I recall now. Down here, we call those thin slices of memory mem cakes. I've spent an age or two down here in the depths, hungry for them. They're my only link left. Iso Pod. At last, or at least I still remember my own days as a test subject. So I washed out early. I pray that you'll be the one to cut through the gloom and light my way to the dreams. Or light the way to my dreams. Share your mem cakes with me and I'll repay the favor. Safe travels, young squire. Oh, I see. Now, I get the young squire thing a lot more now. When I read young squire, I thought it was like, Hey, say no more, squire. But it's more like jazz musician, like, Hey there, young squire. Not sure this 
Piso Padre is playing with a full deck. Doesn't seem like a bad chap, though. Padre. Tell you the truth, Padre. These look like South Park characters. What the hell? The world in me seems like a trap. Drawing now, strange and new. Would my old friends think of me a sap? Tries this pink and eyes a blank. Smile so faint, hide your faint. This one passed out, foxed out, flanked. Are these like erasers? Can't eat erasers. The world I knew seems like a trap and drawn down strange and new. Would my friends think of me? Say, okay. Oh. Um, yeah, so those are the mem cakes. And we've got a. Oh, look, it's Vine Chat. DJ Hyperfresh has joined. Hey, anyone here yet? Hello. Hey, yo, it's Pearl. A.K.A. MC Princess, A.K.A. The Baroness of Bars, A.K.A. MC Foreign Policy. Oh snap, it's Marina. Hey Pearl, A.K.A. DJ I Refresh, DJ I Can't Speak, uh, DJ Cold Breakfast, A.K.A. The Fuzzy Dazzler, A.K.A. DJ Catch and Release. Oh god. Huh. But uh, dude's screen name is just his first and last name. Gotta love old people, lol. Hi Captain Cuttlefish. Can you see the chat room okay on your cell phone? I can see it just fine! Thank you for asking! But all my letters are big for some reason! Hit the cap lock key. Cap. Should be the button in the lower left, depending on your phone. By the way, I was able to hack into a CQ80, so Agent 8 should be able to see our chat logs. Test. I'm... M. Cuttlefish. <laughs> Agent 8 will send you a dump of our latest chat logs every few stages. Keep an eye out. Yo, Cap. How did you even type like that? You gotta show me. <laughs> it's certain fucking leet speak. Oh, that's how you go back. I just fucking demolished that bottle of water, man. My hydration levels. Hydration levels have never been this good. Ever. I'm running at like a plus 76 hydration level. I kinda want more though. Shit, where am I gonna get more water? Okay, I'm gonna change the voice now. <clears throat> I'm a humble custodian of the sea floor. I aspire to be nothing more than what I am. You let me take a gander at any full sets of mem cakes you collect, I hope. Different passages ride different lines. I suppose everyone has to be somewhere. Uh, or has somewhere to be, even. You wish you had conf uh, confidant, cloak, whatever. The text just start starts ending. I told you, man, that food fucked me up. I'm having, like, real issues... ...speaking. I had, um, actually I had... ...Borglars today. I had, um, pork, ginger pork... ...burgers with garlic and soy glaze. It's like, what? I ate them. And then I fell asleep during the Fallout documentary. And then I woke up, I was like, all right, yep, it's time to stream. As a reward for arriving at a new line, allow me to grant you some CQ points. Please accept these 500. Pop Rock Station, pop all the balloons. That sounds like fun.
recommended weapons have been given the Camabo Co. seal of approval. The reward for passing each test differs based on which weapon you used. Good luck. Chad, are you going on about soy? So what do you eat on your Chinese food? Do you put, like, salt? Mayo? Oh. Here I was thinking this was gonna be a nice balloon hunt. Nice balloon hunt. Easy balloon hunt. I want the bucket. Give me get rid of the bucket. This might be harder, or I might be better with it. Now this is this is better for me. Pop them in the middle somewhere. There we go. That's half of them. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is- this is fucked up. Gotta... Gotta be good. Gotta be fast. I'm also going to ink as much of the level as possible. Oh, there's half again. Yeah! 
Sturgis! Saved. Good shit. Okay. I'm just gonna commit to this direction. Ink from above station. No one is commenting on how the CQ80 is like an MSG5 iDroid. Well, we were talking about Chinese food. MSG. No, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, I guess so, but, you know, it kind of reminds me of... ...like a clunky Game Boy. Speaking of... ...them's motherfucking GameCubes? Remember the handle on the GameCube? It truly was Nintendo's first portable home console. Man, I brought my GameCube with me to rooftop parties. I brought it to... the pool. Mixology bars. Just like the advertisements. I think I used the handle for the GameCube, like, twice. It's such a bizarre decision, but... I mean, why not? Give onions. On <laughs> on yachts. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Oh, I missed a thing. What is that anyway? Armor? Oh, that would have been helpful. It's much too late. Gun. The gun. It's good. It wasn't too late for un for uh, armor. I was gonna say onion again, but it's not that. There's another image. I don't know who made this image, I'm sorry. I wish I could... I could give you credit, but I found it on the internet.
Hang on, there was another image. This one's much more elusive and I cannot find it. Oh wait, no, I know where it is. I know where it is. I have a good one. Nope, gone. Where the fuck is that image? Hmm. I always, I always come prepared. Except when I don't, which is most of the time. Shit. Oh, sorry about that. If I remember what it was or where it was, I'll, I'll be sure to let you know. But it was, it was good. I specifically said to myself, man, the chat's gonna love this. Not fucking worth it. Who saw that coming a mile away? That's an expensive restart. I was like, no, I got this. you. Gonna need those after my previous death. I can't wait to destroy this thing. Goodbye. Yeah, this is good stuff. This is really challenging and fun, and I like it. I think they did a pretty good job with the uh, concept of it. Not bad. You've now unlocked three lines. You can view them on a deep sea metro map. None of the four things can be found here. Try searching on a different line. I'd like to offer you a reward for finding this new line. Please pay me a visit. Visit! <clears throat> the people who worked on the Breath of the Wild shrines worked on this? No shit. What? This is my favorite thing in Splatoon. They could be in a horror game, easily. They're like a mix of smooth walruses and meats. But I love that they're like perfectly proportioned in like perfectly tailored suits. It's so... It is so Splatoon, is what it is. I love the theme of, uh, you know, the, the subway, and there's just a, a bunch of sea life going to work. 
This is all very normal, you see. This is the, like, most detailed and fleshed out love story Nintendo has ever developed. Right there. Breakdance station. Can someone recite the uh, poem? No aim, no brain, must be a bucket main. Is that the one? Toilet sounds. This is amazing. <laughs> this is such a cool lit mission. I love it. very Mario Galaxy-esque. New entries in the chat. Oh boy. Yo, I'ma go cop some snacks. Peace. Okay, gotcha. Roger Dodger. FYI, I've been using the CQ80's coordinates to gather location data as Agent 8 passes each test. This place must be deep beneath the surface. It seems to be under the influence of a powerful magnetic force, too powerful for conventional models to simulate accurately. Based on the numbers I'm seeing, powerful enough to distort space-time itself. Captain, have you observed any abnormalities in your surroundings there? I Imokoru. Uh, is that supposed to be some kind of secret code, or did you just butt-text me? Bright and bad. Okay, definitely butt texting. Hangry sushi. Right. Anyway, it's almost like your location is in a different dimension than Inkopolis. As long as Agent 8 keeps ca uh, passing tests, we should be able to figure out what's going on. We'll support you as much as we can, Agent 8. Keep it up. Hangry for sushi. Excuse me. Life forms. You fucked up little life forms. What are you? Read memes? I they're not really like what 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 the fuck am I even reading? They're just haikus. Ish. Not really, they're not haikus, never mind. How desolate this star- no. Star-marked limb is what awaits me the same fate. I must not dwell. It's too much, much too grim. Though parted by the ocean deep, my oldest friend, we meet again. I touch your face, you rouse from sleep. That's nice. They're just little poems. They're, they're nice little poems. But I'm, I'm not exactly um, pausing for lore. Every chance I get, let's say that. Ode to Spot. Can I read a poem that I like a lot? To you now? Felis Catus is your taxonomic nomenclature. An endothermic quadruped carnivorous by nature. Your visual olfactory and auditory senses contribute to your hunting skills and natural defenses. I find myself intrigued by your subvocal oscillations, a singular development of cat communications that obviates your basic hedonistic predilection 
for a rhythmic stroking of your fur to demonstrate affection. A tail is quite essential for your acrobatic talents. You would not be so agile if you lacked its counterbalance. And when not being utilized to aid in locomotion, it often serves to illustrate the state of your emotion. Oh, spot the complex levels of behavior you display connote a fairly well-developed cognitive array. And though you are not sentient, Spot, and do not comprehend, I nonetheless consider you a true and valued friend. Sadly, I'm allergic to cats, so I don't mean a word of what I just said. Who calls their cat Spot? A data? Specifically an android data? Now this is true stealth. That was like sneak 100 times 30 damage. Knife backstab. Spatero is hungry, he needs supplement 74. Going in balls blazing. Oh wait, that's not the that's not the expression. This isn't working as well as I thought it would. But I'm persistent. If nothing else, I'm persistent. Is that Lego? So there's a show on Netflix I mentioned a while back that talks about toys. Which I found really interesting. And they did a new season. And uh, they did Lego and Star Trek toys. The Star Trek toys were so shitty. They were so fucking shitty because they didn't, like, know what to do with them. The Lego story is a lot more interesting than I thought it would be. Like, they almost hit bankruptcy multiple times. They really hit rock bottom. A bunch. Um, but yeah, yeah, I wanna- I wanna show you one of the Star Trek toys, because I think you might... 
you might have a little bit of fun with this one. Spock helmet. This is probably the most notorious shitty toy. So they were just repurposing things that were already in production. And since Star Trek was a hit, and this is the 60s, obviously, um, they just... <laughs> They just plastered the name Star Trek on the toy and put like, um, you know, like, uh, pictures of Spock and Kirk on the box. And this is the, uh, Star Trek helmet, Space Fun Helmet. It's got a siren on it, and in no episode did anyone ever wear that helmet. Ever. Um, oh wait, no, I take that back. Oh wait, no, no, no that's probably not real. God damn it, internet. Yeah, but that's... Probably one of the most notorious, not bootleg, actually officially licensed toys, and it's worth a lot of fucking money. But there were people in that were interviewed that were like, "Yeah, I liked it, you know, because it was, it was something." We didn't have much back into those days, so uh, if there was a helmet that said Spock on it, then sure. Goofled. Who's next? Who's next? It's this asshole. The one that killed me last time. Ah. Oh. I can just see the chat. Like, I don't know what you guys are saying, but I can see it in the corner of my eye. Like, whenever there's, like, a bullshit moment like that, the chat increases to warp. It's like a living, breathing organism. That's, you know what that was? That was some fucking real bullshit hours right there, cause that... I was... What, what was that? That was an event that should not have happened. real hard for that to not happen again. There we go. Yeah, I wasn't off the level. And even if I was, like, give me a chance to recover. That was... that was bizarre. And probably not intentional.
Um, are they respawning? You were off the level. Yeah, but like, give me a chance to correct so I get back on the level. Didn't. I missed one. Oh, there he is down there. That was pretty awesome. Cool level. It's like a combat puzzle. Station. Um, yeah, maybe Prime 2 is not happening tonight because I'm feeling really, um, I don't know. I don't think I would give Prime 2 my all. I think I would be very lethargic about it. I'm already getting tired playing this. So, how about we do Prime 2 tomorrow and I'll make sure it's a good one. I love it. I've been having a great time with Prime 2. And I want to, you know, I want to give it my full attention. Yeah, this isn't going to go to 3 a.m. tonight. I think this is probably going to be a slightly earlier end stream. Consider this... Um, yesterday I streamed, you know, like a full stream. And I did all the E3 stuff. So consider this like kind of a break night for me a bit. There we go. So speaking of Lego... I think my first Lego set was like the shitty castle Legos. Not the good ones, I got the good ones later on. But... It was like Wolf Pack, I think it was it was called or Essentially it was not the best. It was like thieves. They were like thieve castle knight things. Um It wasn't the good set. I say shitty not because the set itself was shitty, but because they weren't like you know, they were like really, really They were really uh the set was bad. What am I saying? Later on, I ended up getting the castle. And I never made the castle because I didn't want to follow the instructions. Like a little turd. God damn it. But I made my own castle. And then I would make another of my own castle. And another. So it was like the gift that kept giving. And then my next sets that were my favorite were Orange Transparent Chainsaw. Wow, I'm really good at this. If someone in chat is telling me to lead my shots, I'm going to ban you. <laughs> Get low up. Gotta ban the whole chat. But no, that was like my favorite. Orange Transparent Chainsaw was my favorite. It was, um... Like, sci-fi ice dudes with beards. Lego beards. I did it. I 
put those in my mouth for sure. You didn't choke to death? How are you still here? How are you with us now, this day? After all that. I probably did too, though. Countless stepping on Legos with bare feet. If any mine were the time chasers set. I had some of the helicopters too. Like, you know, the Lego City stuff. That's surprising though. I'm surprised more there aren't more Lego related deaths per year. Cause like if you swallow a big enough piece, that, that shit's gonna like rip up your esophagus. I'll check the chat after this. The in-game chat, not you guys. Let me do one more level. And then, like... Good! And then, like, they upgraded the castle, like, medieval set to, um like wizards and they made the swords bigger and shinier like the swords were just like little gray shitty swords and then they made <laughs> oh no and then they made the swords better and i remember really liking that then they started making like like transparent magic i miss that's one thing i miss about being a kid Like, sure, you can build a Lego set now, but... You know, I could still build a set if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna, like, deconstruct it, reconstruct it, and then play with it. And use my imagination... ...like a Rugrats. Ain't nobody got time for that. And we got video games instead. Gotta get a ball into a hole. What if I send you the $800 Millennium Falcon? I will not build that. Didn't Elijah Wood build one of those? No, I don't have the patience for like a big set. There's there's no way that's gonna happen in my lifetime, in my household. Not, not in this household. We put the pepper on the Chef Boyardee in this household and it tastes... Bueno, like real Italian cooking. Mm-mm, that's some good food. My favorite... My favorite thing ever is watching Harrison Ford destroy a Lego Millennium Falcon set. That probably took months to build. I think it was on Conan. Or I don't remember which show it was on, actually. It was, it was one of the late night guys. J.J. Abram was there. Someone from off-camera was like, oh, Mr. Ford, uh, such a big fan, you know, and it's like, you know, uh, it, it, a staff member wanted Harrison Ford to sign his Millennium Falcon that he made. It was one of the crazy Lego Millennium Falcon sets that, you know, $800 or whatever. Good. Goodbye. Eat a dick. It was Conan. So Harrison Ford's like, sure, I'll sign it. And then, um, it was Jordan, I think. It was Jordan Schlansky's Lego. The Force Awakens trailer once again features the same lightsaber, oh still gosh. with the correct vintage computer board, and still with the notches cut out of the handle grips. Holy as fuck, Jordan, solid. shut the fuck up. However, it's unclear whether there are six or seven grips on the handle. Put together in 2010. It's uh, very it's delicate. Been a long time. Yeah. So I have a sharp. <laughs> 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 Oh That's bad. That's bad. Uh, don't worry about it. But do you still, you have the pen? Uh, yeah. <laughs> really? Okay. It's fine. You're okay? <laughs> okay. 
thank you. No, <laughs> this is make it much more valuable. Okay. Liquid disappointment. There's no attempt to hide that it was a 100% intentional. Like, the, just his movement is, is beautiful. It's so intentional. Like, not even pretend unintentional. There's a bumper ahead. All right, okay. Now you're supposed to go back down there. I have the snow speeder. I made this the Lego snow speeder. And then the last Lego set I built was the Lego yellow submarine. And I did it in a secret stream. And I still have the footage of that stream. True story. But I played Beatles music while I was making it. So, the only way that footage is ever going to see the light of day is at like 500% speed. You are a fucking nerd! I know. I just don't want to die again, so I'm just making sure I look around, looking for hazards. Trying to understand the level. Understanding the level, taking my time to understand the level and its various stage hazards. <laughs> got a little bit... got a little weird. Someone was having a little too much fun with the stream. <laughs> I don't know what that was, it just... I didn't do that intentionally. I love... I love the amount of creegasms in chat after that specific moment happened. This is my favorite music, so far, of this expansion. Ball level music. Someone said this is just portal, or literally portal. I, it's... yeah. It's pretty goddamn close to it, and I love it. They... yeah, they call them test chambers. They're not even really trying to hide it. But I mean, there's combat, too. You know, there's like fight levels, there's puzzle levels, It's it's got a whole wide array of different things. Now before I choose the next level, we're gonna take a look at the chat. I'm gonna get me some more hydration. Session 3. Yo, how do I make the chat window full screen? Alt F4. MC Princess has left the chat room. <laughs> this is what you all try to do to me. 
every time. I'm like, does anyone know which button does this? Does anyone know which button full screens the game? Can't believe that actually worked. Anyway, nice work passing those tests, Agent 8. Unfortunately, I haven't discovered anything new since our last chat log. So we're kind of stuck in the mud. But in the meantime, I was thinking we could get to know each other better by posting pics of ourselves. Here, I'll go first. I showed you my squid. Please respond. Whoops, wrong pick. Now, what do we have here? Uh, it's an old picture of Pearl. Don't tell her I said this, but Pearl is seriously the coolest. Anyway, back to work. We'll have to save picture sharing for later. Isn't that nice? What do we have here? Oh! So, Principal, you might explode, but when you burst, who's really cursed? Your loved ones have to bear that load. Wow. Holy shit. It's a cautionary tale. It's about bursting nurses. Seems to you a sly attack, but for you pains, for your pains, you make no gains. You only get shot in the back. Damn. How loftily you float on high, suspended there in starry air, as you drip purple passing by. How desolate the star-marked limb. Is what awaits me this same fate? I must not dwell. It's much too grim. Yo, these... These rhymes. Alright, let me let me get some hydration. Be right back. up. I'm back. I was probably muted there. Hmm. Go for the recommended. So fucking cool. Go through the onion and get the cat food. Harry Potter wizard battle.
There we go. Oh, oh you dick. I mean, I don't watch Harry Potter or read that stuff. It's for ner nerds. So anyway, here's this Dr. Spock helmet. He wasn't a doctor, goddammit. Love this thing. mental. I'm kind of surprised I made it through that in the first try. These are some amazing... These are some amazing levels. And you can really tell that a lot of care was put into them. So it makes sense when people are like, Vinny, these levels were made by the people that made the Breath of the Wild shrines. Yep, I see it. It's like <clears throat> the Splatoon team just gave them the level editor. Splatoon maker. I was like, go do it. You've unlocked four lines, now four things can be found. Okay, we have a reward, and there's a new chat log. Again. Okay. I'm back! Yes, you are. Marina, you here? She's in the head. The head? Whatever. Yo, why is there a pic of me posted in here? Isn't this against the law or something? Some data breach invasion of privacy thing? Oh, we're doing intros. Just read that part. Okay, then it's my turn to post a pic of Marina. Boom! This is when we first met back in the day. Here's a bonus one, just because... By the way, we've updated our priva privacy policy. Haha, uh. ah! <laughs> it's like, hey, wake up, yo sleepy head up. Pearl! MC Princess has left the chat room. I'm actually kind of surprised. They, they had like a couple weeks to put in a privacy policy joke. They easily could have got that in there. Let's do it. Let's get this thing. These are very important chat logs. Extremely important. 
<laughs> Very necessary for learning. Doesn't seem like anyone's here. Keep moving. There's that 80s. Is that the bottom of like a coffee maker? I was expecting a boss battle. You are the bomb for Rizzle. You got the first thing. Find all four and you will error the promised land. Keep on keeping on. Someone in chat said, I need you to play Metroid Prime 2 after. Boy, you're going to be disappointed. So, this is one of the four things, eh? These things are as weird as this place, but we gotta get out of here somehow. Let's hurry and find three more. Counting on you, Agent 8. It's like a blender? The fuck is this? Is that a- oh, I thought that was the Smash Brothers logo in there. Yeah, I'm not doing Metroid Prime 2. I'll say that one more time. Not tonight. I'm... If I do it, it's gonna get the shaft. And I'm feeling kinda... shitty and gross tonight. So, I would like to play this for another, like, 20 minutes or so and then end the stream. So just a little bonus stream just to cover this since it came out today. Otherwise, I might have actually taken the night off. But, I'll be around tomorrow with Metroid Prime 2, and probably Bloodborne as well, so... It'll be a good stream. Well, I don't know, I don't know if it'll be a good stream, but it'll be a stream. It'll have two games. That's guaranteed. Would you do dinos tomorrow? No, no, no. Dinos is fun, but I'm not gonna do that... Um, every day, or every... more than once a week, because I have so many other games I'm streaming. I wasn't even sure if dinos was gonna become a recurring segment. But from what I understand, there's not a whole lot to that game. Like, sure, there's there's stuff to do, but it's nowhere near on the same level as Planet Coaster. So I'll probably come back to Dinos and have a, a decent little Dino Park. Maybe do a couple streams of it, two or three total. And uh, then we'll just have the Dinos eat everybody again. Jetpack. I was supposed to press the button. Ah, suck! Suck this!
Oh, oh, yes, grapple. Yes, that is a grapple point. Yes. Oh. Wasn't worth it for an onion ring. I don't know what these noises are. I don't know what these noises are. I'm sorry. I've gotten way too comfortable on stream. <laughs> like fucking... <laughs> like a vampire dinosaur noise. Face cam would fix that. It might. It actually might. But I, I need... I need that little barrier between us. There is no way I'd want to stream as much as I do every night if I had to do face cam. And like not sit and look like a fucking Tommy Wiseau-esque vampire in a dark room while rec reclining at an almost horizontal angle. What about Meat Cam? Meat Cam has shown up on stream three times, maybe, and it's already old. Get me up there! I risked, uh, risked a hundred to get twenty-five. I risked. I risked it. Vinny, have you tried leading your shots? It's not too late for that ban. <laughs> it is dead. This is not my weapon of choice in Splatoon by any means. Bad PC floats in the distance. I 
just had to pray that the ball would be safe. Vinny, what's your favorite album? What favorite album of all time? Oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. It changes. It changes. Maybe... I would have said Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys two years ago. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't know, maybe Station a Station, Bowie album, good. <laughs> I'm having so much luck. Animals is another one. <laughs> but why must they burst my nurse when I fail? Revolver. But, but again, asking me to choose my favorite album is a nightmare. I can give you like a top 10, but I can't give you number one. Sorry. And I've already done top 10 on stream so many times. Yep! Yeah, the top 10 would be in no particular order. It's kind of like that with my favorite games, too. I can only tell you for sure that Chrono Trigger would be my favorite game. But then after that, it's just a jumble. In and trick their system into thinking this test has already been cleared. No, I don't want that. I don't want- what, what do you mean, that? Oh, this is- this is terrible. Thank you. 
This is maybe not the best weapon for this, either. It had the best reward. But, with the amount of times I've died, the reward has been negated. That time. Got it that kind of got it that time. Oh, there we go. There we go. I actually hate this mission. Yes! Make the- make the small sponge become the big sponge. It took me that long to get to the first checkpoint. <laughs> Ball escort missions are true suffering. Okay. 
Thank God. So how many times did I lose money? I lost 600, gained 900. Right? <laughs> okay, I think I'm running out of steam. But these guys are back. Could you imagine how lost I would get right now if I played Metroid? Don't have a full set yet. Yes, a blobfish! Look at that stomach. <laughs> Why is this in the game? in awe of the size of that lad. Uh, I'm gonna just try to finish a circuit or one whole railway line. Might not be able to do that like tonight. I might only do like one or two more, but I should focus on that. So I get mems. I choose this weapon. is for babies. Why do you play these games? You missed one, dick. 1,000 costs to start over. Pearl, why are you doing this? Why are, why are you doing this? 
Or should I call you GLaDOS? Not cool. Not cool. Let me go backwards. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Oh, this is a nightmare. There's someone in chat that just told me they spent two hours on this. Worse than Ludwig fight, confirmed. And this weapon was the recommended weapon. The fuck are you trying to do to me, Splatoon? spending so much money on this. Sure, this is like baby tier, but I'll take it. Man, this will get you good at the game. Where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Oh, God. Wrathful squid gods. I'm so happy I changed weapons. Yeah, that might have taken me two hours had I stuck with the sniper rifle. Okay, there's a reward. Circuit A is nearly done. Okay, maybe I'll do circuit A then. Is 
is the Yeller circuit A. I have some of the Yeller. If you know what that movie uh, is that I just referenced, then I guess congratulations. Vegas vacation. Good job. You got it. Carry the Rainmaker to the goal. Five minutes. I used to play a lot of Rainmaker. It's like one of my favorite game modes, actually. I didn't say I was any good at it, but I liked it. Making me do Rainmaker alone, that's amazing. Thank you, game. Yeah, piece of cake. I'm lucky they completely sucked. Wait, let me make sure I understand you right. You completed a whole series. That's special. That's something else. I always wanted to see a full set. Well, the full set tells an interesting story, doesn't it? Hmm. One good turn deserves another. Try this on for size when you reach the promised land. Keep changing those, challenging those tests, young squire. I'll leave your gifts with the elder squid. Show me any more mem cakes you find. It's never a bother, I assure you. At last we meet my so-called foe, but is our fate to spray this hate? Perhaps we'll learn in the depths below. You gaze seaward with azure hope. Between each blink, you calmly think as when you use a splatter scope. One more level. This one. Spin Docto Station. Now, this is really fun. This is really fun. I just want to do one more level. That's all. Maybe two. Maybe two more levels. Maximum of three, but probably one or two. Okay, that does that.
music. <laughs> it's so weird. Bab step. And you know whose games I really like? <laughs> no, forget about it. <laughs> you know, nothing. You know it's going to be something hopelessly stupid. Let's just... Let's just say Hideo Kojina. It's like his games. Stop chat, you're making it worse. How does <laughs> Ojussie so even make sense in the context of his name? It doesn't. Well, then again, neither did mine. Yes, I started this. Yes. I am so lucky I didn't just fucking get decimated there. Man, this level's awesome. <sighs> Holy shit. Vinny, you've been saying this level's awesome a lot. Most of these levels have been awesome. The only one that wasn't awesome was that one. You know which one I'm talking about. Roly escort level. Now, what is an escort? It's me mispronouncing the word escort. But was it on purpose? I've been known to mispronounce words on purpose. You'll never know. Final one. There's a lot of variety in these levels. Very variety.
no, no, don't, don't do it. You nut! Well, it, it's not as bad as playing a multiplayer match where your entire team disconnects at least. We're good, we're good. This weapon is so inaccurate, but it's not that to blame. I need to shoot better. Like that, that was good. That's all I needed to do. That's all I needed to do. Okay, that was a bit messy. That's why we're gonna do one more. Like I said, one more. Before I said that. But last one. Whack 8-ball station. No, I don't think I want to do an 8-ball station. Defeat all enemies. Yes, I can do one more. Defeat all enemies. Sure. I did say up to three. This is three. Going for maximum reward, maximum difficulty. And already dead. Dooleys have no range. You know, Jay, I noticed, uh, something. You Dooleys, <laughs> they have no range. <laughs> well, there's a meme for every occasion. Thank God. Thank God I found streaming. Because what, what the fuck would I be doing with my life? Reciting memes to myself. You know, Vin, the dog has no tail! Mistakes are made.
It's no fucking range. At all. Unbelievable. How? <laughs> How did you get up there, kids? <sighs> that was almost terrible. Going all right. Not going all right. You're not knowing all right. I'm a gnome. Roombas. Did you guys uh, see the, the picture of the Roomba that tried to clean dog shit? <laughs> it smeared dog shit all over the dude's kitchen. And the inside of the Roomba was just a brown shitty nightmare. Apparently that happens a lot. That's what I get. I deserve that for telling you the Roomba dog shit story.
I may not say a lot during the stream, but when I say something, you can guarantee it will be quality. Like the aforementioned Roomba dog shit story. Which someone in chat was like, I'm Vinny, I'm eating, please. Please stop. I can't do that. Can't let you do that, Star Fox! I missed one still. What does a Roomba do if it comes across a house centipede? Asking for a friend. I want like a... I want like a murder bot. I want- I want a fucking bot that demolishes and obliterates house centipedes upon contact. I'm sure you have all heard of Knife Roomba. And gun Roomba. Attach razor blades to the rotating sweeper. That's what I'm talking about. Now that is a good idea. That is how you dismember centipedes up on contact. Last year, I got one of those things that generates, like, a noise, like a high-frequency noise. It's supposed to keep bugs away. And... It didn't work, I didn't think, because I still saw some bugs. But, I'll be honest, I have not seen a single house centipede this year yet. Now, they're supposed to be fake. I bought it before I knew it was fake, and then I read reviews later, and I saw other ones, it's like, oh, this is bullshit, it's pseudoscience, it's garbage. Maybe it's the placebo effect, or maybe they're just better at hiding, but I haven't seen... Yeah, I haven't seen the foul beasts in a while, so I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Then again, I do have some sticky traps set in choice locations.
locked on. This isn't even like halfway through yet, and it's already this difficult. I love it. Or maybe I don't. Maybe it's too hard. Alright, I'm gonna stop there. For real. Uh, yeah, good expansion. This is on par, if not surpass, the original. That wasn't really an, uh, an English sentence, but I tried. So... Oh, that's pretty good. So Nintendo may not have... A lot of new shit, and a lot of stuff was absent from their E3, which is sad, but, you know, we didn't get Animal Crossing, sure, we didn't get F-Zero, we didn't get the Star Fox, aside from a cameo, um, we didn't get Mario Odyssey DLC, whatever, there, there were expectations that people had, we didn't even see Metroid Prime, however, we know that there's good dong coming out, this just came out. And those are pretty, uh, pretty substantial, like, DLC packs. Someone asked me earlier if I'm gonna stream the next Project Octopath Traveler demo. And the answer is probably not. I found out it's a 40 to 50 hour game, or 50 to 60 hour game. And easily 100 hours if you want to do everything and, like, be a completionist. The demo has got a three hour limit. So it would be like a three-hour stream, but that's the thing. If I start the story, and then I don't finish it, I make the concerted effort just to play the demo, and then, you know, it's like... It's gonna be one of those things just left hanging, and I don't want to do that. It was a cool game. The previous demo I played, I liked. I think it's a really good turn-based, story-driven RPG in the, like, vein of classic games. I think it fills a nice, uh, gap in the Switch's library. That said, I just got too much shit that I'm streaming. Can't do it. And I don't do a lot of newer RPGs anyway. And, uh, you know. My RPG schedule is as follows. Mother 3 and Final Fantasy 9. I don't know when, I don't know what order, but I need to do those two. At some point. So, yeah, I'm not doing Project Octopath. And I know you can travel, uh, travel, transfer data from the demo of new Octopath demo to game, but that's another thing. I just, I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna pass on that. Also, I watched footage of Mario Party. Super Mario Party. And I'll be honest, looks pretty good. This is the Mario Party we should have gotten on the Wii U. Doesn't look, you know, mind-blowing. Doesn't look like a revolution of Mario Party. The, the dual-screen technology is kind of cool. Like, you can set the screens up on the table. That's fine. Um, and I also, I like the, um... Each character has their own ability. Their own dice roll. But, overall... It just looks like a solid... Traditional Mario Party game. With some good mini-games and an actual board with no fucking car. So, it's a little bit disappointing that that's the other main title aside from, you know, Smash and Fire Emblem. And it's like, oh, really? Well, that would have been a nice announcement on top of, like, one more big thing. That said, if you can separate Mario Party from the rest of the E3, it's pretty solid entry. It looks like it's going to be a good one. So I'm excited for it. Um, I'm gonna find out that it doesn't have online, and I'm gonna be real disappointed. But that's just life. Confirmed no online. Do you understand life? God, that's just- that's just so disappointing, you know? That's just an oof. 
Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to say is, though, this is great. And I'm thankful that we have this dong in Mario Tennis. I saw a little bit of the Mario Tennis story mode, and it looks good. So there's, there's definitely some stuff on Switch. But you know what? Again, outside of the Switch, there's so many other games. And... I am definitely not hurting for a squirting when it comes to video games right now. I got plenty. There's plenty of games available and plenty on the way. All right. So thanks for watching Splatoon. We'll do more of that sometime soon. As you know, I'm also streaming Hollow Knight, Metroid Prime 2, <laughs> Mario Tennis soon. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot going on right now. But, they're good game. Oh yeah, and of course, Bloodborne. Let's not forget about Bloodborne. Alright. Let's take a look at the art. And thank you for watching and uh, dealing with my late... It's late starting stream, early ending stream. Looking for where we are in art right now. Okay, there's a little bit of art. A little bit as in, like, quite a bit. This one's from Yes. It's kind of a Hollow Knight shroom. Nice work. Also, uh, from... Well, also from Hollow Knight, here's a piece of art from Mono Jojo. Binyat Knight and Meat. <laughs> Is that a sad frog bee? No, it's a happy frog bee. <laughs> nice work. Uh, DJ Blaze. Ah! DJ Blaze8996 made this starting soon image. Volkswagen Beetle made this one. No. I know it's sad. That's why we're going to try to give him an emote. Ease the pain. Cam made this. Let's see. Garbage, bagels, and stuff. We sell trash, we sell pizza, we sell trash pizza. Pornographic Waluigi magazines, smoky smoke cigarettes. Sadly, we are open. It's about right. I think this would make um, a good career move. If all else fails. Nice work. Also, this um, Vine Sauce Nutty Putty is addictive. I think you're going to like it if you get one at too many games. That's what it is. It's not put. Yeah, that's this year's trash item. I revealed this earlier, but just in case you missed it, here it is again. Egg. May I interest you in a nice egg? during these trying times. Please put these on the store. That's gonna be hard. I'll tell you what though, at some point maybe we'll do a grab bag V2. <clears throat> but we have a lot of other stuff to get to, like charity stream stuff. There's a couple of other um, little items that we're gonna be doing in the shop. So... But if there is ever a grab bag V2, I'll put in the request for some nut putt. But it's just green. Um, and no, it's not a Tenga egg, as much as our- as much as now I wish it was a Tenga egg. Hang on a minute, can I do that? Custom... Promotional... Tenga eggs. Up to 23% off Tenga egg stroker collection. 
courtesy of Groupon. That's unexpected. Tanga egg clicker, just like the waves of the mother ocean keep to arriving the shores, the Tanga clicker egg delivers continuous ecstatic sensations. Tanga egg silky, randomly twined delicate ribs create smooth sensations on Tanga's silky egg. The fine details gently embrace you like silk. A melting sensation wells up slowly. Fuck this website. Thank you, Jukebox Jack, for this art. Google's going to be recommending eggs to me for the next two years. We saw you were interested in Tanga eggs. Anyway, this is me angry at Steve. From yesterday's Jurassic World Evolution stream. Steve the shitty dinosaur. <clears throat> From Katie Ruler. Take a gander at this gay lord. And it's Luigi proposing to... You know, this is the same art style as the pregnant Mario. I just realized that. Very similar. Very, very similar. Uh, anyway, Prince Peasley, you should reset this immediately. Ona's X1 made me with a Metroid on my head. <laughs> Nice. This one's from ASDF Anonymous. It's Hollow Knight art. Really, really well done. Here's one from Draft 4 ZX, and it appears to be like, oh, what the hell were those things? Geckos from Metal Gear Solid 4 but with a me face. PMCs. Pajama Pants Jack made this. Hollow Knight in Shroomland. Cool. This one's from Darkwaza. Drake. Oh, yeah. Drake showed up at E3. I'm surprised people hadn't heard of Drake. Bonus mem. New Knuckles mode. Drake's first contact. Yeah, those Drake's cakes things have been around forever. Okay. Here's one from Weabolo. And it's Hollow Knight and Hollow Knight's soul. Very, very, very well done. Indie Film Productions made this ask and you shall receive check emails for two possible WA. I wonder how that would look small, though. That's what I worry about. But yeah, I did get a bunch of Waluigi emotes. Here's one from Braden Whiteside. And, uh... It's a vine shroom. Maybe I'll put him to a vote. Nice shroom, Braden. Here's one from Lazily Toast. More Hollow Knight art, but... Again, all this Hollow Knight stuff has been amazing. I can't believe how much of a... Fan base Hollow Knight has. I mean, I can, because it's... Like, incredible. But, I just didn't expect it. I knew it was popular, but I didn't realize it was this popular. People really love that shit. And it's also got a really good um, art following, too. I think the art style is very memorable and um, extremely pliable for art. And that's not the right word at all. Mr. Weird Guy made this. Dad. Hit the butler. Yes, Feather. 
Viable. Yeah, viable is a better word. Applicable. That's a good one, too. Jud hit the butt lore. I like this version of Bob Borgor. That's a good one. And he's making a hot dog, of course. <laughs> Jared, we're going to be making Frank Fort Rose. Rabbit Rodent made, um... <laughs> it's, me, it's me slurping down a fucking half a bottle of water in one gulp earlier. Well, multiple gulps in one go, let's just say. Um, that could almost be an emote, right? Vine swoon, hot and bothered promiscuity. Doesn't translate to small form, sadly. It just kind of looks a bit like Waluigi. A nice idea, but it's just Waluigi. Kakapo made this. Ah, my life blows. Scoot hogs all the attention. Barely anyone knows me. Nobody uses Vine Drake. There's to be something I could do. Help wanted immediately. Mascot at E3 conference. Vinny's live Vinny live streams E3 conferences. This is my chance to be noticed. Spoiler: Vinny didn't watch the PC gaming conference. It's true, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know that Drake showed up. I watched some of it, but not this part. Sorry, Drake. I like Drake. He's he's all right. Um, but it is Scoot's birthday, well it was, and I didn't load up Animal Crossing for it, so I'm gonna have to give him, like, a belated birthday gift. So, sorry, other Scoot. Budget Scoot is my favorite name for Drake. Mobs Alive made some of the creatures from Splatoon DLC, from the depths. Uh, here's one from Hoogie Me, Vine Wa, emote for fear or angry. Okay, again, this is just a Waluigi. It's nice. I'm sure plenty of other streams have a Waluigi emote. Why, yeah, why is Germa in this? Drake's Cakes is a New York thing, and they only sell in the Mid-Atlantic, Southeastern U.S. region, so people on the West Coast wouldn't know of it. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good Waluigi. Maybe. I mean, let's see what else is available before we make a decision. I say we, I mean me, but I'll definitely consult the chat. You guys can be my advisors, my expert advisors. This one's from Academy. There has to be some deeper meaning. It says here, just worked my first day at my first job. This image encapsulates the internal and extra external frustrations of life. It's Bob. And he's... What, what the fuck? It's tagged as Slurp Borgor. And Bob. Well, good luck at your first job. I hope you, uh, hope you live. There's a video included, but it's just a Skyrim dragon, uh, and, and music. It's fine. This one's from Condescending, Condescended Wow. Time to take a piss. Parau made this. Hi, I'm Unyat. New mascot? Maybe. This one is from S Flyer 5. First attempt at art, Vine Waluigi. It is made to be cringy and a meme. Oh. <laughs> All right, thank you for the Waluigi attempt. Rufia made Vine Rage. Not bad. I mean, it, you drew your own Waluigi, which there's a bonus for that.
I think it's probably the best one because it is like drawn and uh, you can see some of the rage. Some of it, not all of it. Uh, I also got some to my email, which I'll have to take a look at separately. This one's from Pixel Pie, and it's a sad Waluigi. I am going to be picky about this, that's correct, yes. I want this to be right, because people get attached to emotes, and I don't want to have to remove them. Because, you know, say there's uh, a Vine Waluigi that's subpar that gets to become an emote. It's going to suck to replace. So it's got to be right, and it's got to have a good emotion. Like, Vine Wa is cool, but it also... We have plenty of sad emotes already, so. As accurate and appropriate to the times as that is, maybe not. This one's from Jake English. Vine Shroom Eraser acquired. Hands are hard, what the fuck. I've never mastered drawing hands, ever, so I agree. Um, and I'm not making the decision tonight for Vine Wah. Here's one from Colorbled. Oh, nice. That's great, Colorbled. And you got the hands. You did them well. Great work. This one's from Psycho815. Lieutenant Commander Spot. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Thanks. Aki made this one. Forced to draw meat, head pounding, gods wish me dead, but I shall not die even if I were to wish for it. Meat, mem cake, he is cherished, hands are fake. Thought hands were hard, but now they're fake. From a Average JP. Hey Vinny, just a quick sketch up. Um, of an idea for a scum Waluigi emote. Also, vine scum when you're feeling receiving the bad scum. Well, that's not a bad idea. I kind of like this. This might be, um, one of the better Waluigi emotes. Maybe it could work. If not, it's just great art. I wouldn't mind a vine scum. That could be a good idea. I don't know what it would be. You know, so if you have any ideas for vine scum, feel free to toss them along. What I will show you is that someone had the idea for vine... Tell me what this is, chat. Let's see how many people get it right away. Vine pizza. Most people are saying it's vine pizza. Many people are saying it's vine pizza, but it's vine crusts. I like it. I don't think it's very communicative of the idea that it's crust. That's a hard emote. That's like a hard thing to convey. And I, I appreciate the attempt, but it didn't... Mm. Maybe, maybe not, you know. So yeah, I've been looking through, and there's like, then there's this one. Which will be spammed and abused easily. Though... This definitely has the most utility. Then there's this one. Which, in small form, just looks like... Green. Lots of green word. It's kind of hard to see. So... You know, it doesn't really... I mean, it's it's more of a, um, a ha-ha. Looks good from, you know, here, but I don't know. So we'll have to see. There's there's a lot of emote ideas that I wish to um, I wish to look over and think about. Here's one from Sovim, and it's Octoling with Mem. Really great art. Also, kind of um, in some ways, not very surprising that there's this many versions of this particular thing because it was such a a perfect moment and it's good to see all the various takes on it so 
Okay, here's one from Cryptid Kitten, and I'm floored by this one. I'll say this. Yeah, hands are hard. Guitars aren't that easy to draw either. And you nailed it. So that is the Gretsch that I, I've been using lately. And uh, holy hell, that's really all I can say. You got the hands right, and you got the guitar right. And it actually looks like me. Which, over the years, there's been, like, you know, there's a lot of art that gets close and has a couple of the traits and some more exaggerated traits or less exaggerated traits. But I think um, not a lot of people actually get within, uh, you know, a, a good range. You know, beard, check. Hat, check. Got it. <laughs> That's all you need. Beard and hat. But I really think... Um, I really think you did a great job with this one. So thank you, Cryptid. I really like it. And... Finally... From A Moral Crow. <laughs> uh, this is also amazing. You see what I mean about the face? The, the art is absolutely incredible. I'm, again, floored. I'm playing a Game Boy with meat on it. Marissa is reading a book with Todd and Gabe Newell in it. And, um... It's just great. But, yeah. So, let's see. Getting to the point where I don't hate on things that other people like. Just be happy about it. Life is too short for that kind of hate. I guess I kind of did say that. I could probably sum that up like that even better if I weren't so tired, but... It's just, um, I've learned that, yeah, looking, looking at things specifically to hate on something is a very, it takes a lot of energy out of you. That's all. It just, it takes a lot of work and energy and effort, effort better spent otherwise laughing and accomplishing things. So that's not anywhere near as concise as this, but whatever. Anyway, the point is, thank you. I'm glad you like that, and I uh, really appreciate the art. And it may be two who's, but, you know, I did do the stream. And now I know who Marissa... See, I knew who Marissa was. So that's cool. Anyway, that's the last piece of art. Thank you, everybody, for joining this somewhat shorter stream. And uh, I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you stopped by and watched some Splatoon. We'll do more of that soon. I want to say, if you're looking for other Vine Sauce streamers right now, streamers right now, shut up, Vinny. Dyer's live, and um, maybe other people will be live tonight, tomorrow, whenever. Twitch.tv/team/VineSauce is a good way to find other streamers. You could always wait here for the auto hosts, and I host my hardworking and very supportive mods. You can check out their streams. They do a great job. And some other folks, like Jerma, who, whom Stiv you just saw in an emote. So, now that I'm done, I think tomorrow, Metroid and Bloodborne, I don't know when Hollow Knight is, but, uh, you know, definitely understand that now I'm streaming a lot of different things so some of the games that I'm streaming are going to get the shaft a little bit here and there but I'll try my best to keep it um, keep it smooth so good night and see you tomorrow bye bye scum <laughs> Hello, my old chum. I'm not a gnelf. I'm not a gnoblin. I'm a gnome, and you've been gnome.